Alright, Privyet comrades, TFCom here. I wasn't sure if it was going to record after my issue last time. Um, all I had something really cool that had happened. And it's, to a lot of people it wouldn't be a cool thing. But, ignore me as I back up real quick. Well, I just went and renewed my apartment lease. And, you know, it may seem like a normal whatever thing. And it was treated as no big deal. I walked in, I said I want to renew it, and they said, okay, cool. And that was it. But, I have never lived in a place longer than three months or so. Maybe four months. I've never lived in a place that long. I just haven't. There's always been things that happened. Usually really dramatic, horrible things that happened. And there's just always been things that happened that prevented me from staying in one place for too long. Now, it's crazy because on the 17th, is what it says, on the 17th, my lease ends, and I would have been here 13 months. Like, how does that even happen, you know? It's just absolutely crazy to me. To have been in one place for that long. It's crazy. Because, I mean, I've settled down and found a place that I like and such, and that's why I was having some big issues with uh, my new job. But, um, I had considered moving closer because I thought, you know save on gas and everything else, and it will, but I, I couldn't bring myself to do it. Like, I knew it was the good thing to do, it was probably the right thing to do, but I could not bring myself to do it, because I mean, giving up on this, and I have never been anywhere this long, so to give up on it feels like I'm giving up on a lot, you know, like something I shouldn't be giving up on, because, you know, I finally have a home, a place I feel safe, for it on my own. I just, you know, a place I'm good and at peace and such. And it's a great feeling to know that you have a place to go back to. And, I mean, I probably would have eventually gotten used to it. Rusk and everything else. In a new apartment there and such. But there's no guarantee that I would have. And... You know, there's no guarantee that I would have felt at home there, especially as home as I feel here. And I've had to pack up and move again, and even though, you know, it's been forever since I moved, it still feels like a huge, I don't know, let down, because I've moved so many times. Before I moved into my current apartment, I had moved a total of eight times in a year. Like, that's crazy. Who moves that much, you know? It's like almost every month. And I just, I could not bring myself to do it again. Even though, like, it's been forever now, you know? So it's not like it happened recently or anything else. Like, you know, it's been a long time since I've moved. But I still, I just couldn't do it. And even before then, you know, I'd be in my, um, when I was in school, what they would do is that every holiday you had to leave the premises, even if it was like a three day weekend, um, and then and then at the end of the semester you had to move everything out, even if you planned to move back in the next semester, you had to move everything out and, you know, pack it all up. And it got to the point where everything I owned could be packed up and only a few boxes. And that, that's a depressing thought, you know? And now I'm at the point where I actually have furniture for the first time ever. Like, I actually have a bed and not just a mattress sitting on the floor. I actually have a couch and it folds out into a futon. I have a TV stand, I have a TV. I have a little table, like, little end tables and lamps, and I never had any of that shit before, you know? I never had anything like that. 
my phone's currently ringing. I'm ignoring you because it's a stupid scammer again. It's a stupid company called Franklin Collection who've been calling me non-stop asking about some cruise I was in or something. 